Tonight, a big step in possible police reform here in Rochester, a move that follows protests across the nation and, of course, here at home. From the outrage caused by the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis to the protests over the death of Daniel Prude here in Rochester, and just last week, the pepper spraying of a nine-year-old girl. The call for reform has taken on new urgency. Tonight, the mayor of Rochester unveiled a draft plan and asks for your feedback. Atia Collins joining us from the Rochester Police Department with more on this tonight. Atia, what's in the proposal? Well, Maureen, the plan has 10 areas of focus, looking at things all the way from cultural training, community engagement, the response to mental health calls, even pushing for a change on the state level. Now, the mayor says that this will all create transformative and institutional change here in the Rochester Police Department. Mayor Lovely Warren is seeking community input on the draft police reform and reinvention collaborative proposal. We're asking you, the citizens and the people of Rochester, to review this document, to make your recommendations to us. The plan focuses on 10 key areas with specific recommendations on how to improve policing. Just looking at some of the proposals, the plan would end the use of spit hoods and prohibit handcuffing those younger than 12 years old. Police would be replaced with mental health workers on the scene as much as possible. It advocates to change state law so officers can be fired immediately at the time of questionable events. When responding to calls, officers would be required to collect and share data on things like race and use of force. The plan also hopes to double minority representation in the police department and reduce RPD personnel within five to ten years, reallocating the money to other programs. Created by community working groups like the Police Accountability Board, religious leaders, city council, and the police department, among others, the work is still ongoing. Submitting it to the entire Rays Commission, as well as the police working group for the Rays Commission, to get their feedback, which we will then put into writing and submit back to the city, as well as submitting the, the final report from the Rays Commission. We are going to continually uh, refine our uh, proposals, and uh, we're going to reach out uh, to, the to the community and really uh, solicit um, their uh, response and feedback to the proposals. The police union tonight saying they haven't really been involved in the process up to this point, but they do look forward to analyzing the mayor's proposal and providing feedback, which they hope will be taken into account. Reporting in Rochester, Atia Collins, News 8. All right, Atia, thank you. All law enforcement agencies around the state are required by Governor Cuomo to present plans for reform. Mayor Warren hopes to have the Rochester plan delivered to City Council March 4th. Council will then hold public hearings before voting on the final version, and they hope to have all of this done and delivered to Cuomo by April.